How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. In this episode I'm going to show you how to get brakes for life for your vehicle. I'm going to change the front brakes on my Accord. It doesn't need them right now. But when I did the big brakes on this car, I get some AC Delco brake pads. They're really bad when it's raining, when it's cold. Braking performance is not going to be good with these cheap pads. So I'm going to go get new pads and it's going to be for life. So that's our son right there, guys. I used to work here, but I quit like two, three months ago. I don't even remember. I really don't care. There is no money here, so that's why I quit. So, gotta go really quick, get inside, get some brake pads, say hi to my colleagues, and then we do the installation. I have my pads. Uh, for my big brakes from the Acura RL, you need DG1091. They didn't have the Duralas Max, so the gold ones, they're gonna be all right, because the AC Delcos, they're really bad. And to be honest, that's the only things that I like to get from AutoZone because their alternators, power steering pumps, uh, starters, everything electrical is really bad. You have lifetime warranty, but what's the point of getting something the year after or less, it's gonna go bad. Brake pads are good to get in here because they lifetime warranty. So that means that that's why I'm gonna have uh, brake pads forever now until I have that car. Bring the old ones, get new ones, but besides brake pads, I'm not buying anything in this place. Next step, remove the tires and get to the brakes. press on the pistons I can use my two screwdrivers and put the pistons in back brake we we'll had the wear out indicator so it stays on the back Same thing with the front piston, just push it with my screwdrivers, I don't need any tool to push on the pistons. It's really easy to push on these brakes. Line them up with the holes. You got new shims. You need to clean the pins really good. So we put new grease so they can slide freely. Just put a little bit of grease on the pins. Put it through.
slide your shim in place. First one is done. Second one, put some grease in it. Slide it. Press it down on the clip so it goes down. Goes in. Don't use the old ones, the new ones. Okay, so everything is in place. Really easy to push on these pistons. You don't have to have a fancy tools. Two screwdrivers do the trick. Now this is in place. Now I gotta go do the same thing on the other side. Drive around and make sure everything works. Okay guys, so brakes are done. Now I just have to go for a little drive. I gotta bet the new brakes. Going from 60 to zero a few times. So we transfer some brake pads into the rotors. Like that, we're not gonna have any noise. The brake pads are gonna last a lot longer and it's gonna break really good. So I gotta do the bedding process right now. And that's all it is for this episode. I hope you like this episode. If you wanna see my episode where I did the big brakes, I'm going to put it right here. You can go and check that one out. And that's all for this one, guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm going to be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace. Mm.